Hi, my name is Rajesh Pavitran and I am the CEO and founder of Boon Tech. Today we are going to talk about Ethereum clients. Ethereum clients allow you to set up an Ethereum node on your computer. An Ethereum client is like a Java virtual machine and allows you to run Ethereum programs. With an Ethereum client, you can participate in the Ethereum network and perform tasks such as creating accounts and contracts, sending Ether to other accounts, sending transactions to contracts, mining on Ethereum network, and other tasks related to the Ethereum blockchain network. Ethereum provides clients in various languages, including the, the, Go, the Go Ethereum, C++, um, Python, JavaScript, etc. Go Ethereum clients or Geth. The Go Ethereum clients commonly called Geth is the Ethereum's official client. Ethereum private blockchain network. A private blockchain is a useful is useful for testing smart contracts and dApps without having to use the real Ether on the main Ethereum blockchain. Before creating the private blockchain, we create a new directory to hold the blockchain files and then create two Ethereum accounts as follows. M create Ethereum accounts. After creating the Ethereum accounts, you can list the account as follows. M list Ethereum account. Genesis block JSON file contains information on the first block of the blockchain. Ethereum provides the flexibility to specify your own Genesis block file to create a new blockchain. The fields in the Genesis JSON file include nonce. The nonce field is a 64-bit hash which along with MX hash field is used to verify that a sufficient amount of computation high uh, computation has the miners have to perform more calculations to mine a block hence the block on has been carried out on this block and the blocks contains a valid proof of work MIX hash the MIX hash field is a 256 bit hash which along with nonce field is used to verify that the block contains a valid proof of work difficulty this field specifies a difficulty value for mining. A block is only valid if it contains a valid proof of work of a given difficulty. If the difficulty value is generated, if its generation time increases as the difficulty increases. For the private blockchain, we keep this value low so that the blocks can be mined faster and also the transactions are processed faster. Alloc. The alloc fields allows pre-allocating Ether to Ethereum accounts created previously. Note that the Ether, al Ether allocated and also mined by the miners on a private blockchain are not real Ether and do not work on any Ether, any other blockchain. Coinbase. The Coinbase field specifies the address of the account to which all the rewards for mining of the block and the execution of contracts are transferred. This value can be anything in the Genesis file as it is set by the miner who mines the block. Timestamp. This is the Unix timestamp value at the creation of the block. If the time interval between the last two blocks is large, the difficulty value increases, sorry, difficulty value decreases so that the next block is mined faster. For the Genesis block, we set this value to zero. Pattern hash. Each block in a blockchain is linked to, the, to its parent through the parent hash, which is the hash of the parent block header. In the case of Genesis block, first block on the blockchain, the parent hash is zero. Extra data. Optional 32-byte extra data can be provided in the Genesis block. Contacts implemented in Solidity can either be compiled using the SOC compiler via command line or using the web3.eat compile solidity function provided in the interactive JavaScript console of the Ethereum client such as get. Test RPC. While Ethereum clients such as get and Pyth app are good options for working with the main Ethereum blockchain, testnet or a private blockchain, however, for development and testing of contracts and dApps, we recommend using test RPC which is a Node.js based Ethereum client. Ethereum languages. 
Ethereum provides various high-level languages for implementing contracts, including Solidity, which is similar to JavaScript, Serpent, which is similar to Python, and Lisp-like language, or LLL, which is similar to assembly. MetaMask. Chrome extension provided, provides as a user-friendly option to interact with the dApps from the Chrome browser. MetaMask allows you to run Ethereum dApps in your browser, browser without running a full Ethereum node. MetaMask includes a secure identity vault for managing your account, identifies MetaMask, you can either create a new wallet for Vault or restore an existing wallet. Web3 JavaScript API Web3 is a JavaScript API created by the Ethereum Foundation which provides methods for interacting with the Ethereum network. Web3 allows dApps to work with the Ethereum network. Web3 provides a JavaScript object Web3 which includes various sub-objects such as ETH which contains the Ethereum blockchain related methods uh, SHH, which contains Whisper protocols related methods that allows DAP to communicate each other. Admin, which contains various admin related methods. Net, which contains numerous, which contains methods related to the peer to peer network. Current provided, which contains method related to the current provider. Miner, which contains method related to the mining version which provide version information for the node and other sub objects including db debug personal providers and tax pool ta transaction pool thank you very much for watching i hope you like this video if you like this video please like subscribe and comment i will see you in the next video thank you very much